morning. I thought I'd just get up that bank first before I start talking to you. Just to get out of the way. Ah, it's a... Uh, you're going through like an estate after you cross the bridge at Wooler. Um, I through like an estate and then up the slight like, steep uh, road and then you turn off to the left and you start to climb, climb, climb. I thought it would be sort of traversing round it a bit more, but no, we're going over the top. Um, so today is Walla 2 Beal. Now, I don't know what to do. Um, I was humming and hawing about last night and this morning, thinking, right, because the tide goes out at about, I think it's about five o'clock until one o'clock in the morning or something, tonight. Then you have to wait like about an hour and a half, two hours, for like the pilgrim way to clear. So, it gives us time to like sort of get the beal, set up my tent and that. And then just go over and then come back, you know. But, uh, what I was intended to do though, as well was go over, do a loop of the island and then come back. Um, I mean, I'll probably get back for about 10 o'clock. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Um, because it takes like about an hour and a half or something to get across. Uh, I'll have to think of the times and all that. It's more likely I'll do it tomorrow morning. Uh, but that's the thing with this. Um, you're sort of working on the tight times. So I, I may just do it on here. Uh, on tomorrow morning. The more I'm thinking of it. Uh, I saw last night. Highburn House. Uh, it was I, it was all right. Uh, Alan, who I met yesterday, my new best mate, um, he said 50 pence for five minutes for the dryer. Wow. <laughs> it just seems a lot. Um, so, like, I tried to wash a few things and dry. I only had 150 pence on us. It just takes 50 pence coins as well. Uh, I so didn't get dry, so never mind. I'm just a dirty, smelly, fat get hunter. Dear. But um, anyway, it's fine. A little bit of drizzle around about four o'clock this morning. But uh, it was completely fine. Just went around the outside of the tent and just dried it off with a like, little sponge thing I've got. Um, there's barely anything there to be fair. But um, it was ducks and all sorts there, man. Mint. Absolutely mint. Uh, and lovely campsite like there was a waterfall up the back and all that and oh brilliant man uh, I think it was about 18 quid to stop there I think it's 18 pound to stop at Barnet Beal as well there's a cafe there uh, and a bar hopefully it's open the night <laughs> oh Newcastle's playing the night as well against um, Brighton a very important game and all I've judged this brilliantly, like, <laughs> and uh, I googled to see if there was any, uh, anywhere I had Sky Sports on, no, so, I don't know, I have to see through Twitter or whatever, no, I mean, okie dokie, let's crack on, we'll probably go down at some point, It's lovely walking through here. Yeah. Um, now, it's in Cuthbert's Cave. It's in some woods. I'm not entirely sure where it's them ones or them ones over there. Let's see, it's them ones to the left. And then, a lovely surprise of them ones to the right. Now, there's a path that goes over there, so it could be that one actually. Um, Oh, could be like looking at it because I know there's some sort of welling to the sort of left of it. Could be fairly steep coming down here, um, and it, it could be a bit muddy like um, and slippy um, in bad weather. Oh, 
just be aware of that Lee. But the scenery is gorgeous. <laughs> Um, not much to tell you really um, just been a load of road, road walking um, since that uh, bridge when you come down off the hill uh, outside Wooler um, turn right here uh, aye it's I mean it's hitting up the miles them guys right inside it's just a steady climb up that was a lovely little village there Horton I think it was called uh, dominated by the um, the farm like oh, it was a lovely little place eh? but um, they're just sort of rolling hills now rather than them big lads and lasses uh, we've went up previously aye so I just cracking on um, I think somewhere up here we'll see somebody who might guide with the way to uh, St Cuthbert's Cave so I have a word with him if we get lost. <laughs> so there's uh, where St Cuthbert's Cave is. It's just to the right of that forest. Um, you'll see a sort of a clearing sort of bit there, slightly to the right. Um, there's, there's some more sort of crags and rocks and all that there. That's worth going to see if you've got time. Um, when I've come up I've done like a sort of figure 8 from uh, Belford which is like over the hill that way um, crossing over at a, like just a, in that general direction there's like a um, equestrian farm sort of thing uh, and you just sort of like come over the hills through the uh, farm at Belfast, there's a massive bull there, like enormous. Um, <laughs> it, uh, it's it's in a field though, it's, like, it's, it's out your way, like. Uh, aye, so, and then you sort of make your way along to here, back up there, round, and then back down again. Or oh, whichever way you want, really, I suppose. Uh, aye, it's, it's a lovely area, like. Lovely. There's a nice little village, Belfast, as well. Like, I suppose you could stop there. Uh, on this, I suppose. I was looking into it actually, but uh, it's a bit out the way. Right, so. St. Cousin's Cave. Excuse me mate, do you know where St Cuthbert's cave is? Oh, it's your cave is it? Oh I found Hello <laughs> What a belter Excellent Sorry for being so sweaty and smelly <laughs> Right Cousa, up to your cave now So there's them rocks I was telling you about, it's a bit further along from St Cuthbert's Cave. St Cuthbert's Cave is like at that end there, around right about there. Uh, uh, it's a nice little place to walk, like uh, about 8 mile or something like that from Belfast, all the way around. But uh, it's gorgeous. So uh, there's a path up the middle of the yard here, we're going up here, and then turning left. Uh, just get over that hill and I think it's all downhill from there, I think.
So we go by St Cuthbert's Cave and we can see the sea in yonder. So like I say, I, um, I've been up here walking a few times and uh, this gate here, me and the current Mrs D went for a walk. We've done that walk from Cuthbert's Cave and I, uh, we've come through there. Uh, I think it sort of takes you along there and then down into here. Um, and there was a cow and a calf. Well, uh, didn't seem to bother me. The cow was really perturbed by uh, Mrs. Daly. Um, and if the cow hadn't have slipped, I think the mate have went for her. Like, and now she's absolutely petrified of cows. <laughs> uh, and that's happened. We're under where this gate is. I suppose it just serves our right for being bloody melodramatic. Yeah, but there we go. <laughs> I just look back there, the amount of trees that have come down. It's unreal. It's got a sign up about the felling of the trees, it's in Cuthbert's Cave, like, uh, when you reach it. But by God, it, it stole my one again. Unreal, man. It's caused some devastation, like. And there is the our final resting place, uh, Woolly Island. Uh, like that's the like sort of village there, straight ahead. Uh, there's the causeway. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh God. Yeah, I've just had to have a word with myself. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> right, we're going sort of that direction at the, uh, towards Fennec and then I think I might get into a cafe there like Guru Cafe, let's see what time we'll get there um, oh, I can't believe it <laughs> uh, we have to cross over the A1 after Fennec and then across the East Coast main line um and then like turn left and then make our way up to the causeway and then i'm camping at the barnard beale that's it's like a cafe bar campsite sort of thing so oh man alive man look i mean i knew it was coming up didn't get us around but wow it took us a bit by surprise <laughs> uh, um, you can see that the tide's right in like uh, there's been me crossing it at the minute like obviously I knew that like uh, honestly I, I can't get over it <laughs> uh, I don't, you know what it is I, I'm, I don't think I'm ready for it then is that mad like of course I'll be out of the moon if I do reach at the finish because there's time yet. Like I say I have to get out of the A1, we have to get out of the railway line. So you never know. You never know. Uh, Barnborough Castle down there I think in the, in the, in the distance. Uh, um, oh man, I'm alive, man. Oh god, I, honestly, I can't get out of this. I, I can't believe I've walked this far without my feet hurting. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm actually like not a cripple like I was the last time with Gleam and Weight. Unreal, man. Unreal. And each, day, each day that's went on, I've got more and more used to my backpack, I think. Um, just seems like the first, like, day, isn't it? Like, uh, you're just getting used to things, I think, you're like, a bit up height as well, aren't you? You know, like, oh, yeah, we'll go. You know, you get yourself a bit more excited. Um, I, oh, great, man. Absolutely mint, mint. 
Uh, you almost have to make your own way through this wood like it's uh, as you can see there's plenty of trees down um, but uh, further up there there was like orange um, spray painted like arrows on some of the trees to tell you the basic way you have to go so it wasn't too bad I think I might be out of it there now but I uh, that was a bit sketchy at times <laughs> Just had a cup of tea at the Guru Cafe. Honestly, the loveliest women. Lovely. Told them uh, I better sit outside because I absolutely stink. I'm driving away customers. So, <laughs> uh, if you're up this end and if you're doing this walk, definitely pop into there. I think we're up until three o'clock. But uh, they were lovely. Yes, we will run. We have to run for it. I watch yourself going across here <laughs> to quick and straight across. So I was going into that field over there while them cows giving us the eye. But no, up this track here, thankfully. Some big lasses there, I mean. Oh, especially you. Wow. Right, so we're getting closer. Oh, there's my sticks. Um, we're getting ever closer across the A1, uh, up across the railway line yet. Um, you have to ring at one side, then bring at the other, tell them you've passed. Uh, obviously, ring at one side and they'll say, no, I haven't gone across yet. So, I'll do that. Um, Lovely day. It, I mean, there's been a lot of road walking, but that's of no consequence. Like, is it? It's uh, has been done some things on it, and they eat up the miles as well. You know, um, like the day's flown past. I, I don't want this to end. <laughs> oh, I'm just looking at them cows there now, like. Right, you're staring us out. You're nah that that's a path. You know that more than what I do. And I'm thick as mints, you know. They need to be bloody scared about it, you know. I mean, nah, I'm a fat, fat ugly yet, but Christ. How am I, lads? Or lasses, should I say? Calm, dude. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's weird, like animals, eh? What the thing I'm gonna do? Uh, I can just see like the sort of the sand and all that in the distance. It isn't even in the distance. It's not that far off actually. Uh, still no wind today. It takes it out your mind. Right, we've got sheep here and just sheep. Good. Over safely, and I think it's down here, and then along, and we're done for the day. Right, so I might as well sum up the day now, uh, just along the way from the barn at Beale. Uh, I think that might be it there. Ah, it looks like it. Um, not that great day. Um, not as challenging as other days on it. Uh, you've got that hill going out of Walla um, and the climb up the St Cuthbert's Cave and just beyond it. And that's it, really. Um, aye, it's, it's a decent like, day's walk. Lovely. You know, it's, it's just what you need. I can understand why people might start from Holy Island and then come in. Because a nice gentle start for you, running against street <laughs> like Eden Hills, like. Aye, uh, so. Aye, uh, cracking day. Uh, highlight was getting me 
tonics, which were lovely by the way. Didn't eat all of them, just the one. <laughs> Aye, so, what, you want us going that way? What down there? Right, fine. Um, I so lovely day, lovely, lovely day. Uh, just nice and gentle ish. Loads of road walking today. has very been very light, little grass walking. Like what we're doing here now. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, like, thoroughly enjoyed it. Just took me time as well because you're kind of booting until three o'clock here, so I've timed it just right, really. Like, I've just moseyed along. I'm trying to break in my back like uh, Aye, so a Decent, decent day like And then tomorrow We'll be going Our there And I'll Give you a tour of the island as well Just to give a, a bit more oomph <laughs> no, Rather than just going over again Done One minute video <laughs> Aye, uh, because there's a few things to see over there, like, so, do you, I think it takes, what, something like about 90 minutes to cross, you can just see the sticks in the distance, I doubt you'll be able to see them on there, Um aye, uh, there's, like, a few things to see, like, yeah, Lindisfarne Castle and stuff like that, the bonny little village there as well, right, so, day four, Almost done, unless I get on my ankle because I've survived the A1 and the train lane. <laughs> There's probably a shark come out and kill us, or oh, one of the seals that were there, farm there. <laughs> right, all the best. See you later. I think I might get another paint if that bar's open. Thank God I missed that train. It's a big one. Hey, all the best.